passing the hog, you're gonna have a look at each other. All right, now let's go ahead and switch the sides real quick. Now it's real. Now it's going off. All right, did you get the photo? Photo over there? All right, let's go ahead and switch the sides real quick. Oh my gosh. Too bad it don't rock, huh? It's because you are tiny. I feel like everybody's staring at you. Some mystery is gonna be that. Yep. Yeah, it's a pretty good size group, but you know if you guys can squeeze in, somebody can probably grip on the back portion there. So you're standing, that appears level, right? Mm -hmm. Now just to show you guys if the level is not fixed, I will go ahead and move it up and down. You guys do see the bubble does move, right? Alright, so I do need two volunteers to help me out with this first demonstration. You want to just be shrunk her down a little bit, and you might notice that she's looking pretty tall from what you're standing. So we'll go ahead and take a photo right there. Once you're good, let me know. All good? Now let's go ahead and switch the sides real quick. Now you can go over your shoulder over there. Yeah, you can see it, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> so we call this our shriek and grow platform, and I think you can see why. Let's go ahead and switch you guys. They see it there, and you guys are seeing it there. I can see it here. And when you get home, take your uh, photos, put them on a computer. You'll be able to see it on the computer as well. So everybody give them a big hand. Thank you for helping. Yay. Stand up nice and tall. Be a good level look at each other. All right, now let's go ahead and switch the sides real quick. Now it's real. Now it's real. Alright, did you get the photo? Photo over there? Alright, let's go ahead and switch your sides real quick. Oh my gosh! <laughs> 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 go back after this. Go back? Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, now do it. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. She's a plant. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, I need all the height I can get, right? <laughs> so, we don't know exactly what's going on, but what we do know is we're standing in a vortex here. The vortex starts in the center of the house, spirals out about 54 feet in diameter, okay? That spiral of energy looks just like this symbol here. This symbol has been found mentioned in stone and rock in many different countries all over the world. And one of those arms of energy from that spiral actually flows right through here, right where this blue line is, okay? Now we're all standing over here on this side. She's standing over there in her own little world, hanging out over there. Now watch what happens when I take one step. But one step is all it takes to cross that wall of energy, and watch what happens. <laughs> you guys all see that over there? I feel short now. Now I'll back down. I'll do it one more time. Back to the normal height. And shrink it back down. Yeah. All right. So, go ahead. I want to have you do one more thing for me. Go ahead and still stand there. Take a look out in the bushes, find a level point of reference somewhere here in the bushes. Keep your eye on that level spot. You go ahead and walk down nice and slow all the way to the wall. Yes. Hey, what happened to your point of reference? Yeah, it moved on you, didn't it? Yeah. Alright, everybody give her a big hand. Thank you. Yay! 
Um, there's a couple different theories as to why the shrieking growth phenomenon happens. One of the main theories of which is Einstein's theory of relativity, which states the faster objects get, the closer they get to the speed of light, the more they will tend to uh, get smaller, shorter, or shrink. So, with that, we're going to actually go ahead and head into the House of Mystery now. Put a couple rules before we go in. No running in there. No, uh, there's actually a weight in there hanging on a chain. No giving it a big swing. We don't want to swing and hit anybody. And also no hanging on it. We don't want it to break and fall down. And you will feel an invisible force when we push you downhill. Definitely lean into it, hold on to the handrails. Keep an eye on little ones. Sometimes when you're going downhill, we can't stop. So, without further ado, we'll head on in. It's worse than the last time? Well, a lot of people say, well, let's get the houses built crooked. And it is, it's still at an 18 degree angle. That 18 degree angle equates to about a 412 roof pitch. So if any of you have ever been contractors or roofers and been on a 412 pitch roof, you'd feel that in here you're being pushed down hill significantly more than you would be on a 412 roof. Some people are on mass, but what if you like to sound on a level platform? Well, we have one of those. This right here is level, so when you get a chance, come down here, stand up, stand up straight, nice and tall, and when you do so, you realize that you're still a couple degrees off the plumb. So go ahead and come back to plumb, and when you do, when you get about 90 degrees, you'll put the energy on to put you out the window. So definitely give that a shot. And then here's what I got close right here. If I can have you sit the chair for me right here. Alright, now put your feet on the yellow footprints, heels back up against the board, put your hands on your knees. Do not move your hands and do not, do not move your feet. You go ahead and stand up. I'm <laughs> <laughs> to try not to. I think you just find out why. So, give you some pointers real quick. Go ahead and put your hands on the back of the chair. Slide your butt to the front of it and lean to it. There you go. All right, everybody give him a big hand. All right. Every single person here has always wanted to do matrix moves. You come in and go. Give that shot. Also, climb up the ladder here. Climb up both sides. You'll realize one side is significantly more difficult than the other to climb up. One side you're climbing with the flow of energy, the other side you're climbing against the flow of energy. Oh, Come up this side, goes high as you feel comfortable. Hang out in the energy field and let it hang out there. Oh, okay. We have people take those all the time while the feet are hanging out. Also, a circle right here. Come over here, stand in the middle circle. This is the center of the vortex. It can very much be considered the eye of the storm. It is very much a neutral position compared to everywhere else in here. So when you get a chance, come in here. Close your eyes, see if you can determine which way the vortex field is rotating, whether it's counterclockwise or clockwise. But keep in mind, if you're looking down clockwise and looking up, it's different. It's counterclockwise when you're looking out. So, I'm going to quiz you guys when we get outside. Everybody look down, see if you can determine which way it's rotating. And which way it's rotating. So, we just have a, a weight on the chain here. It's about a 10 pound weight. We're going to move it in and out of the energy field. And as we do so, take note of the chain. Note how, how straight it appears and how much it appears to bend. Okay, as I pull with the energy field, you guys see how straight the chain looks? Bending ever so slightly, but not much at all. Now watch what happens when I go against the energy field. Take a look at the chain. You guys see that bend quite a bit more than the opposite direction? Yeah. Because we're going against the energy field. And we do measure it, it measures anywhere from about two to three pounds of force in this direction, and anywhere from about four to six pounds of force in this direction. Okay? Now also, bring it back a little bit, give it a little bit of a swing. And watch what happens. As soon as it gets out of the plumb, it wants to bounce back out. Okay? Almost like there's an invisible spring right there pushing it out. Okay. Down.
That was a fun photo. I'll take a look at this one. You guys see that little girl? You can see right through her, right? For the most part, you can see completely through her. The crazy thing about this photo is that little girl wasn't in the house or on the property when the photo was taken. Ah, <laughs> uh, over there. <laughs> so that's a fun Suspicious photo, but my favorite confirmed. photo out of all of them is this one. So, this photo was actually taken with this lady's camera phone. It was just a digital camera phone like everybody has. And Joe actually was the one who took the photo. He was down there on the redstone that all of you were taking photos from. And when he took the photo, he immediately, re immediately realized there was something goofy going on with it. Called her over, had her pull the photo back up, and this is what they saw. So the most obvious thing that all of you, I'm sure, see is half of the photos at a 90 degree angle. That's weird in and of itself, right? But that's not the weirdest aspect about this photo. Yes, exactly. Yeah, what, what specifically about the little girl? She rotated. She rotated, exactly. She's in two different positions. The little girl in pink is in two different positions on one photo that was taken over one second. That's impossible, right? Well, if any of you have ever studied quantum physics, quantum physics actually suggests that's not that impossible. Yeah, quantum physics says that all potentialities exist simultaneously, side by side, at any given second. It all depends on which one you consciously decide to see. Go over there and you'll be on these ones. Can you pull my people? Anybody can jump on us. He's sick right here. Okay, one more on the green there. One more on the red. Anybody want to jump on the red there? All right. Now everybody take a good look at the person directly across from you and everybody on the side. And make note of how tall or short we're all appearing. Okay? And as you do so, we're going to shriek and grow everybody at the exact same time. Okay? Everybody, let's all move one stone to the right. Go ahead. Yeah. Military right. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Anybody notice anything different? You notice that you got a little bit shorter over there and he got pretty tall? Are you starting to feel a little bit taller over there? She looks like she's getting pretty short. What about her? Is she shrinking down a little bit? Is she getting a little bit taller? All right, let's go around again. One stone to the right. Yeah, you're a little shorter. Yeah, she's back up in her normal height. You're starting to get a little bit of a girl spur. Angle, some of them are twisted. Wherever the trees are twisted, that's where you have something going on energetically. So over here, as you can see, these trees are all twisted. This is where we're going to do our next demonstration. So I can have everybody come into the circle here. Apart. Put your hand out in front of you like so. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Make sure it's a hand you don't mind losing. And then go ahead. We always have people switch. Yes. And then go ahead and put your hand down in front of you like so. And stare through your fingers. Do not look at your fingers. Only look at the ground. Stare, while you're staring at the ground, go ahead and slowly start to rotate your hand in a circular fashion, looking between your fingers. And as you do so, some of you might notice you're missing some fingers. Anybody missing any fingers? A couple people? Anybody gaining any fingers? A couple people gaining some fingers? Is anybody seeing any color? Blue. So, so, seeing blue over there. Anybody else seeing color? Purple. Seeing purple? Is anybody seeing white on the ends of their fingertips? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Seeing a little bit of white? Okay. I just taught you the easiest way to see your own aura, to see the human energy field, okay? Now, don't feel bad if you don't see any color, if you don't see white. It's actually a very small percentage of the population that's able to do so. Some of them are born with it. In fact, most of them are born with it, but as they get older, especially into their teen years, that ability usually goes away. And we, we're all made out of energy, and with that, we can, we can make circuits, right? We can make electrical circuits. Well, we got a circuit tester right here. If I can have you grab the end of that. I'll give you a hand. We just, yeah. we just created a circuit because we're made out of energy. Now let's create one big circuit. Everybody hold hands in one big circle okay. here. For the absence of, right? <laughs> yeah, you exactly, right? So, take a look at my shadow here. You see there's two shadows following my other shadow? Yeah. You guys all seeing that? Yeah. That's because the energy fields are being bent. Oh, wait, yeah, I can see that. Wait, oh, see all yeah. these shadows? No. Yeah. His hand looks a little deformed. Oh my yeah. gosh, Ew, that's weird. Yeah. Okay, let's see what's wrong.
Did he get away from Area 51? Oh, wait. You goober. You guys get anything crazy in your photo center? Yeah, for sure. All right. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me, I'm going to Narnia. Narnia? Yeah. <laughs> Thought you got locked out of Narnia. <laughs> <laughs>